and I wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like this hair could be really useful for you ladies who have natural hair or if you just want to experiment and try something new and different something kinky and you know curly and just switch it up from the normal straight hair look so I got this hair from a website called finger comber and basically it's a website that says that it is designed or that they specialize in hair synthetic and I think it's just synthetic synthetic hair for naturals by naturals and basically the hair that I have in now is wefted hair and it's obviously kinky to me it kind of resembles like if you're into hair typing, resembles like a 4B, 4C texture, and it blends really, really good with my hair. Um, I have about one and a half packs in my head now, and I have some um, shots that I'm gonna show you guys of the hair when it came to me in its packaging, so you can really get a sense of what it looks like before you install it. But this is synthetic. Um, on the website, it's listed as man-made fibers, which, in the beginning, I was kind of skeptical before I bought the hair because I didn't want to have hair that was going to be really, n not nappy, but like tangly and just looking fake. But lo and behold, I think the hair looks really good. So anyway, it's um, man-made fibers. The color that I have in right now is a number two. And my natural hair color is about a 1B. So... They don't match up exactly, but I think they blend pretty well with what I'm trying to do. And the reason I didn't get a 1B is because they were sold out of the 1B. So I just took a, took a chance and got the number two. And I'm pretty pleased with it. I think, like I said, I think it blends really good. Um, the, pack, the packs of hair cost $38, which for synthetic hair, you know, you normally wouldn't pay that much for synthetic hair and I have seen hair like this in the beauty supply store and of course it's a lot cheaper like 10 bucks a pack but I'm not sure of the quality of that hair I, I have never tried it so I thought that I'd give this um, hair a try just to see you know yeah it's synthetic hair but maybe they've done something to it to make it last a little bit longer um, so I wanted to try it out and as you can see this is matches really good with my hair I have it installed right now with just kind of like a u part so the only part of my hair that's out is this part right here and i styled it with a little part on the side a really good thing about this hair too is that it is a great protective style but yet it still gives you um the natural look without having to do you know like without having to really manipulate your own hair so it's a good protective style because it prohibits you from having to you know having your hands in your hair every day and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to try this hair out is because I was doing two strand twists and like bantu knot outs and stuff like that but I also realized that when my hair is out I always want to touch it I want to feel it I want to try new products on it and it's, this hair is just giving me an opportunity to really allow my hair to relax and take a break and to keep my hands out of it so I'm not breaking it off so it's a good um, way to do that and yet and still still give you a natural look like you're, no, like you're rocking your own hair. So that's one of the really good things about it. Now, the only downfall that I've seen um, so far with this hair is that, and this is really just with what's being sold on the website, is that the hair, you can't buy it in different lengths. This is about a 10 inch, I guess, about a 10 to 11 inch, and that's... A pretty good length for most women who have you know like mid-length hair or shorter hair but if you, you know if you have longer hair it's gonna be hard to match this hair up with your length if it's past like a 10 or 11 so that's the only thing that I would suggest that you know needs to be they need to offer more lengths of hair is what I'm trying to say and um, now you can also get this hair already on like a wig cap or a unit they sell these as wigs this this particular one like I said was wefted and I just hot glued it onto a spandex dome cap and installed it that way but they do sell the actual wigs and I believe let me see how much was that yes yeah, listed here at 78 dollars so not too expensive not too expensive but you know i'll have to see and let you guys know how the hair holds up 
Um, there was shedding. The hair did shed when I, as soon as I opened it, and I have some shots of that too. I'll show you guys the shedding that I got out of it. But I'm, I don't plan on combing through this hair or doing anything like that. I mean, at the most manipulation that I probably do is just finger comb it. And that's just to, you know, kind of tame it a little bit. And then um, when I get ready to twist it or to, you know, band to knot it or however I decide to style it. Um, that's pretty much the only manipulation that I'm going to do with it. And I don't plan on wearing it in this, you know, big puffy fro um, every day. I think it looks cute. I really like it. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it today. But I know that I get tired of hairstyles quickly. So I'm definitely going to put it to the test and make sure that it holds up. And I will certainly update you guys on that as well. Um, this is the first day that I've had the hair in, so I'm not going to, you know, rant and rave about it and say it's the greatest hair that I've ever tried because I don't know yet. So far, I definitely do like it, but for it to be good hair and for me to recommend it to you all, I want to definitely put it to the test and see how it holds up. So I want to thank y'all for watching this video and until next time, I will check y'all later. Bye bye.